it is 9 p.m. in Art. It is time to English New Edition. For tonight's headlines, we have. The Prefect of Djibouti calls for collective actions to keep the city clean. Gaza 13 dead in an Israeli bombardment targeting two schools. Welcome to our newsroom. Uh, at the beginning of this uh, month of August, uh, the Minister of Labor in charge of formalization and social protection, uh, His Excellency Umar Abdi Saeed, took part in the fifth ordinary sessions of the Specialized Technical Committee on Social Development, Labor and Employment, uh, which was held in Addis Ababa, Ethiopia from 20, uh, 29 to 2 August 2024. The minister was accompanied by a three-party delegation is made up of government representatives, including Djibouti's ambassador to Ethiopia, Abdi Mahmoud Abe, senior officials from the Ministry of Labor and representative of the Djibouti's Employers and Workers Union. Organized by the African Union Commission, the team of the meeting was uh, promoting social and solidarity economy ecosystems. Uh, this team highlights the importance of social and solidarity economy as a lever for inclusive and sustainable development, the SSE offers unique opportunities to create decent jobs, reduce inequalities, and strengthen co social cohesion. The ministerial meeting of this fifth ordinary session is, uh, of, uh, the, uh, was uh, preceded uh, by the meetings of experts. Uh, during these meetings, the Djibouti three party delegation is uh, contrib enriching uh, contribution, their presence reinforced by Djibouti's commitment to promoting inclusive uh, and uh, sustainable social economic uh, development uh, create uh, robust uh, sustainable development of the continent. The prefect of uh, Djibouti held a meeting attended by the capital subprefect and officers from the capital's various districts. Uh, discussions are uh, focused on the challenges of a clean city. However, it has to be said that unfortunately the cleanliness of our city has uh, left much to, de to be uh, desired to of late and that insalubrity is increasingly gaining grounds and becoming uh, commonplaces as it dumping of household refuse on the public highway, the dumping of waste, water and the running of animals and urban roads and illegal occupations of urban roads. Uh, finally, the usurpations and degradations of the width uh, of the public highway will no longer be tolerated. For his part, Mr. the Prefect of Djibouti, Mr. Abdi Sikie, made a statement. However, it has to be said that unfortunately, the clean lines of our city has left uh, much to be desired of late. Uh, and that insalubrity is increasingly gaining grounds and becoming commonplaces as in dampings of household refuse uh, on the public highway, the dampings of wastewater, the running of animals on urban roads or, and uh, illegal occupations of urban roads. And finally, the usurpations and degradations of the width of the public highway will no longer be tolerated. The Olympic Village in Paris was visited by a high-ranking delegation from Djibouti's uh, ambassador to Djibouti, Djibouti's ambassador to France, accompanied by leading figures from the National Olympic Committee, including Aisha Grad Ali. Abdulkader Burhan Kanano made his presence felt at this high point of international sporting fraternity. This visit, much more than a simple act of uh, protocol, is of vital importance for the small nations in the Horn of Africa. It uh, testifies to the country's uh, unfailing commitment to its athletes and the importance attached to their uh, participation is in these uh, quadrennial uh, meetings of the world sport. The ambassador and his delegation had the opportunity to tower the village facilities, stopping at the floors uh, reserved uh, for Jerusalem athletes. So they were able to take uh, the pulse on the atmospheres and see the, for themselves the optimal preparation conditions available to the athletes, also modest in the size. Djibouti has great ambitions for these games. Two of its most uh, promising athletes, Mohamed Ismail uh, 
Fatah and Abdi Waris are preparing to take uh, the trek at the state of, of the state de France so for the five uh, meter, five thousand meter excuse for seven August. The discipline is a veritable institution. This is uh, in African athletics crystallizes the hope of an entire nation. Uh, on the occasions of these uh, Olympic Games, the president of the Djibouti Athletic Federation, Saeed Ismail Hassan, thanked the president of the Republic for his enormous support for the Djibouti teams uh, taking part in the Paris 2024 Olympic Games. The president of the Djibouti Athletic uh, Federation also thanked the Djibouti's ambassador in Paris, Ayat Moussad Yahye, for his presence and his support for the Djibouti teams taking part in the Paris 2024 Olympic Games. The president of the Djibouti Olympic Games uh, wishes success and achievements to our athletes who have qualified uh, for the Olympic Games in Paris. He underlined his hope uh, that the Paris 2024 Olympic would uh, uh, provide uh, an additional opportunity for our countries to win new trophy and distinctions. Uh, the president of the Djibouti expressed his uh, warmest uh, welcomes to the strong Djibouti delegation. Uh. Mr. Faisal Abdurrahman, uh, the Secretary General of the Olympic Committee, said that Mr. Ambassador of Djibouti, we would like to thank you for your presence and your support uh, for the Djibouti team taking part in the Paris 2024 Olympic Games. Uh, Djibouti has shown in the swimming and judo disciplines now all is uh, on the athletics event where our champions Muhyiddin uh, Mohamed Ismail and Ibrahim will be competing in the marathon. We hope that they win a medal and wish uh, all the athletes the best of luck. Uh, I would also like to express our gratitude uh, to the President Ismail Omar Gele for his support as well as uh, to all those who have supported us among the Djiboutian people. Uh, speaking in the heart of the Olympic Village, Ms. Asha Garada Ali, an emblematic figure of the Djibouti National Olympic Committee and members of the International Organization, of, uh, passionately addressed his, uh, the Assembly, her experience and no long-standing committee to sport in Djibouti captured the attention of all present with a voice uh, embodied with the emotions and determination. At last, the Djibouti ambassador to France, Ayad Moussad Yahya, said that the highlight of the visit was undoubtedly tinged with emotions and national uh, pride. He conveyed uh, the President of the Republic's messages of support for Djibouti's sportsmen and women and galvanized the troops, reminded them of the honors of wearing the national color on the Olympic stage. Paris 2024 Olympic medalist result, the United States, which won 19 gold, sil 20, uh, 26 silver, and 26 bronze medalists at the end of the ninth day at the Paris 2024 Olympic Games, has climbed it to the tops of the United States uh, and uh, the other nations. Uh, China was relegated uh, to second place with the 19 gold, silver, 15 silver, and 11 bronze medal. And China won a total of 40, 45 uh, medals. Uh, France, the host country, remains the third place uh, with won three bronzes and the ninth day of the games and 12 gold medals and 14 silver medals, uh, 12, 18 bronze medals. And while 70 countries won medals at the end of the nine days uh, of uh, games, Turkey occupied the 47th place and uh, in the rankings with the Kosovo winning bronze in archeries and silver in shooting. Driver uh, licenses uh, training needed for 55 young people in Arta on Saturday 3 August 2024 at the foot of the Mon Ugul in the town of Arta, more precisely at the CDC of Arta, a driving licenses training course was launched for 55 young people from the town of Arta and the locality of Wea. The ceremony was attended by the President and Vice President of Arta Regional Council, the Second Prefect of the Arta Regions and the Regional Directors of the MGC. This initiative, which has been run since 2023, by the Minister of Youth and Cultures aims to offer young people in the regions and localities local training courses in partnership with the Ministry of Interior to give them the skills they need for mobility and economic integration. The training which will be which will take place uh, over several weeks. Uh, it is an important uh, step towards uh, empowering 
the young participant and developing the vision is the species of the, by the officials underlining the benefits for the finally Arthas series and we are are the fifth towns of to benefit from these programs it flashed the markets uh, that enable the opportunities in the file of logistics and transport after so much effort and remarkable fighting spread, uh, we come in the, at the end of this tournament uh, the tournament uh, has uh, been marked uh, by record breaking match some lasting more than five and a half uh, hours uh, this competition has been a real uh, opportunity to celebrate our National Independence Day. It also enabled us to select the men's and women's uh, national team made up of five ma male and five female players who will represent Djibouti at the 47th Cheese Olympiad in the Budapest, Hungary sep next September. During these uh, competitions, we also organized a referee training courses for future national referee. The training took place in town. The two uh, simultaneous phase uh, theoretical trainings on the ro role and duties of a referee as well as uh, the fundamental role uh, themselves official uh, certificate for Fadila Abdurrahman. For the regional scene, uh, under a blazing sun, uh, the Lido Beach in Mogadishu was the scene of an unprecedented gathering on Monday's hundreds of Somalis, most young mostly young people, responded to the government's call to demonstrate against terrorism a, a week after the bloody attacks that plunged the beach into the morning campaign to eliminate the Hawarij and criticize their deviant action. This was the slogan of uh, demonstrations which brought together civil society and the highest level of government. The term Hawarij used uh, to designate extremists reflect the desire to uh, delegitimize uh, this group in the age of the population. Many young people held a placard condemning uh, the previous Friday's attacks when a silent uh, enjoying an, an evening on the beach of Lido, Banadir region is used of Meda was visibly moved at the address of the crowd. The speeches were punctuated by applause from the crowd, which included ministers and members of the parliament who had come to show their solidarity. Kenya floating uh, claims to combat flooding that uh, technology is transforming food management in Kenya's uh, food uh, draw prone uh, region. Uh, the coffer dams uh, protected communities from swollen rivers and store wat water for use uh, during the dry season. Uh, rubber barriers and the sources, the dams made a uh, heat uh, resistance rubber have a capacity of 8,000 liters of water each. Uh, each dam is um, 5 meters long, 1.5 meters wide, and 1 meter high. To be effective, the dams must be placed uh, close together, forming a water rights uh, barriers that prevent any gaps and where, according to the Kenyan government, flooding caused by heavy rains between March and May this year destroyed uh, crops. Uh, of on more than 70,918 hectares, figures from the National Disaster Operations Center show that uh, 291 people were killed by the floods and 278,000 were displaced. In Gaza, 30 days in Israeli bombardment targeting two schools, uh, the Palestinian civil defense in the Gaza Strip announced on Sunday that the number of Palestinians killed in an Israeli bombardment targeting in Al Nasra and Hassan Salama schools in the Gaza series had risen 30. This brings the, to three the number of schools targeted by Israeli armies in, in, in less than 24 hours, uh, all in Gaza City. Earlier in the day, the government media offices in Gaza announced that the targeting of these uh, two schools uh, brings the number of the populated accommodation uh, center targeted since 7 October 2023 to 172, including 152 populated uh, schools. Uh, and to close this edition, Israeli closure of the Rafah border crossing in a crime against humanity. The Turkish Foreign Minister Hakan Folan 
How can Fidan has declared that Israel is closer of the Rafah's crossing, the targeting of the aid convoys and killing uh, aid workers are considered a crime against humanity and the beginning of the Israeli genocide in Gaza since 7 October 2023. Israeli with the with the U.S. support has been waking a devastating war on Gaza that has left more than 130,000 Palestinians dead and wounded. And this is it for the news. Thanks for watching us. Have a, a good uh, evening.